Welcome back. Now in this tutorial we're going to look at the, the temperature. So by default the temperature is turned off, alright? To turn on the, um, the temperature all we have to do is go to content method and turn on temperature to dynamic grid. Now if we play this back you'll be able to see the simulation. It's going towards the same direction as before but we'll, we can't see the temperature still, okay? To be able to see the temperature we have to go back to, um, to display all right, don't get confused, guys. We we'll have to go back to the display and turn it on to temperature. Now we're going to be looking at temperature. Now that's the temperature. All right. So now, um, now that the temperature is uh, turned on, we can actually increase the temperature scale, the buoyancy, the pressure, depending on what you want. All right. But for 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 this tutorial's sake, I'm going to go back to density. All right. I'm going to go back to density and increase the density scale to about. 0.7 and the buoyancy to um, let's say 4ish, 4.5ish, 4.5. Yeah, that's that's fine, guys. So now we've actually done a few things here, that, and there's more that we can adjust, and I'll t we'll talk about that as we as we progress uh, as we progress. Now let's go back to um, fuel. Let's add some fuel to our reaction. Okay. Now the fuel is off by default just like temperature we're going to go back to um we're going to go back to content method and turn on the fuel turn it on to dynamic grid and again if we play this you still won't be able to see the fuel until you go to display until you go to display and instead of the temperature I want to look at the fuel that's the fuel okay that's a little bit of some fuel so um we can still uh, ramp up the fuel. Let's close the display. Let's go back to the fuel. Um, the fuel scale to maybe that. That's all right. Reaction speed. Um, the reaction speed to maybe um, about that. About ninety point. Um, no, no, let's just put a point. Maybe point seventeen. Why not? So um, now let's go back and. Add, um, let's let's see what we, we, we're gonna come up with now. Go to display. The shared display should be as render. Let's see what's going on in here. Let's go ahead and play this. You can see we're actually coming up with a very interesting um interesting reaction here. Okay. We're coming up with a very interesting reaction okay so these em emitters are mixing up together and um, the temperature the temperature is actually creating fire at the bottom okay the temperature is actually um, generating and creating the fire at the bottom so we can also go back up we can go back to okay let's say um, te we, we can adjust the temperature to maybe maybe um 0.14 right and the buoyancy let's make it quicker buoyancy to let's say no 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 we'll let, we'll let it drop we'll let it drop okay and go ahead and play this again that's the fire reacting at the bottom we're still not done yet guys let's go back up and um Increase the um increase the fuel a little bit. No, 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 let's just decrease the fuel. But the reaction speed should be a little bit quicker. Let's say point um let's say point uh point one one seven. Let's go back and play this. Okay. Still not good enough for my eye. Let's let's ramp it up to point one three eight. Excuse me, guys. So, if we play this, you notice a lot of um, um, interesting reaction going on in here. It's almost like a fire. Like we, we, we now, now it's safe to say, okay, now we're creating a fire here. Okay, let's just play this. Let's let's play all the 400 frames and see what happens. Okay, you can see the detail around around this area. This area is like hot as hell, and the bottom is more like more subtle. Okay, the, the the sides are more more like more subtle. This is like hot hot. 
All right. And if you want, you can also increase or decrease the, the, the fuel depending on what kind of uh, look you're after. So this one won't be a complete um, tutorial that I'm going to show you how to create fire and stuff. I'll show you that later. It's just a basic one, all right? So to, to create some sort of a more realistic one, let's go ahead and change the um, color to ah, red will do. Okay, let's change the, the, the light color to red. All right, so um, on top of that, let's go ahead and play with the incandescent, um, with the shading, shading, shading right there. Um, with the shading, let's uh, select the, the, the color, the shading color to green. All right, let's sh um, shading color to green. Let's go ahead. This is just uh, freestyle, by the way, guys. I'm just trying to create something interesting. No, and um, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> All right, let's put it back to red. And if you want, you can also um, play around with uh, these shading colors, all right? So you can also change them up like that, depending on what you want, really. So it depends on what you guys are after. All right, guys, so let's not get too carried away with this. We'll get, the time will come for all this, all right? Let's not get too carried away. I'm gonna um, close these. All right, go back to fuel and change the light color to white default. Okay. Change the light color to white. So this is uh, basically how it, um, how it works. How you create create basic fire, but there's more depending on what what fire you wanna create. You can add detail. Okay, this is unlimited to what you can do. We'll get to that later. Now, um, fuel scale is pretty much uh, the amount of fuel you're gonna um, add to your to your reaction. Reaction speed is pretty much how quick you want your reaction to happen, whether you want it to uh, to happen earlier or later. Okay, air and fuel ratio is pretty much the burning kind of thing. You know, the, you you need to know that right now. Ignition temperature is actually the temperature of um, your reaction. What kind of um, temperature you want? Um, you, what kind of temperature you will need to be able to have this um, whole fire ignited, the whole fire to ignite, okay? That's your ignition temperature. Maximum temperature is uh, 1 by default, but you can also turn it down to whatever if you want it to be extra hot or just basic hot, you know, just a little bit. Heat released is another thing. If you want um, heat, heat released, you can uh, ramp up that one to whatever you want it to be, or you can actually put it at zero, but I like to have uh, realistic stuff, so I'll put the re heat release somewhere so you can have the heat around the, um, the, the, the fire. Light released is another thing that you can actually play around with, but you won't be able to see much here because this is a basic tutorial, we'll, start, we'll get to that one when we need to get to it. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the basics of uh, all these attributes in here. There you go guys, that's our basic tutorial, so let's go ahead and uh, look at um, um, catch and other stuff. Thanks a lot and I hope you've subscribed. Bye.